I am here with Michele Gallucci at Maker Fair Rome 2022, who has made a wonderful thing out of microcontrollers and flex sensors. Um, it's probably best if I let you explain how this works uh, yourself. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. And I developed this piece of tech in my own apartment uh, out of stuff that I could find to try to help people that were struggling with typing on a conventional keyboard, whether that's through disability, whether that's through hand injury, visual impairment. There's a lot of reasons why typing on a phone or on a keyboard might be very uncomfortable for people that do it for a long amount of time. And so I wanted to try to make something lightweight, easy, and simple that could help people access all of the letters and languages of a keyboard from any hand position anywhere via Bluetooth. And so that's what I've made. Uh, this glove allows you to track in real time the positions of all of your fingers. Uh, it allows you to get feedback via letters on your phone, any phone connection for Bluetooth, uh, for any letter in the alphabet. So I've developed a, a very robust language system uh, that once you memorize it, you can go fairly fast and do simple hand switches to type whatever you would want to type. Lovely. Yeah, it's, it, it's such a, uh, in a way, it's such a wonderfully simple idea, but it's been so well implemented, which I think is what makes it so good. So uh, do you want to go in a little bit of detail as to how the typing key works yes. and how that translates to the gloves and then how that there translates to letters? Absolutely. Yeah. So the mechanics of the glove are pretty simple. They have sensors that sense the position of each of your fingers. As I bend each finger, it bends and tracks that position uh, in the microcontroller. Now, the bigger question is, how do I implement the language system? Because we're doing this for folks that might have a harder time using their hands. So we don't want to make it overly complicated. You don't have very complicated double finger gestures, because though I can do it, and maybe you can do it, some folks might not be able to. So my goal was to make a language system that had single, single finger gestures uh, in that way. And so we've split all of the characters up into sets of four here. So each finger, index, middle, ring, pinky, is responsible for one character. The thumb cycles between your active characters. So originally, we all start here, and your index would be a space, your middle would be E, your ring would be A, and pinky would be R. If you switch your thumb, that moves to mode two, and now your index is I, O, T, and N. And these letters are ordered from most used to least used so that people can have the lowest number of mode switches possible and access the most common letters first to make typing a little bit faster. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a really fantastic idea. But uh, uh, before we started this interview, I kind of you mentioned that it was something that you just came up with in your room. And I, I kind of mentioned that could it be something that we'd see as potentially a product or that would be in medical care at some point in the future? You've actually had some quite good responses from people about it, haven't you? I've gotten wonderful responses. I've had folks, I had one person with only one hand. Yeah. Uh, that other one was injured saying how useful this would be. Yeah. Um, I've had people that had very good responses. And this type of tech, uh, for especially for virtual reality haptic feedback is fairly common, but implemented in this way, I don't think anyone has done yet. So if I find a way or somebody willing to work with me on this idea, I'm not much of a businesswoman. Uh, I'm more of a hacker yeah, inventor yeah, I, person, I uh, but I would, <laughs> I would absolutely be open to those opportunities. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for taking the time to explain this uh, to us today. I uh, really, yeah, I really look forward to seeing where the project goes, and uh, I'm, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here in Rome. Thank you so much. Me too. Yeah, Best of luck. Cheers. <laughs>